Good morning and welcome to Kate in Scotland. This is the third day of my Highlands road trip and we're starting at Loch Ness. Let's go! Monster Patrol, that's so cute. Okay, we're here. I got an Irish note, I've never had one before. Jacobite ancestors, speak to me! This place is amazing. This place is magic, like legit. I can absolutely understand why people believed in fairies. We got so lucky today. The sun is like, it's shining, it's warm, it's cold, but it's warm in the sun. The sky is blue. I like, I couldn't have asked for a better day to come to Loch Ness. This is something else. So here's the story, right? So we had Clan Grant, who's living in the castle, and then you have the Jacobites, who are loyal to the exiled King Stuart, and so the Jacobites are coming, the Grants are in here, and they're like, I don't like this. The Jacobites can't really do anything because they don't have any firepower, and so the Grants take this opportunity to get the f out. And they're like, I don't want any part of this Jacobite rebellion thing. They side with the new monarch, William of Orange, who the Jacobites abhor. And so Clan Grant decides instead of staying and dealing with the Jacobites, or maybe thinking about being on their side, the other Highlanders, they decide to fill the castle with gunpowder, get out, leave forever, and blow the castle up so that nobody else can have it. And here we are, ruined castle. By the way, this castle would have been like ancient to the Grants. Like even though this was like centuries ago, this castle was built centuries before the Grants even got here. So the fact that they just blew it up makes me so angry. <laughs> they put this thing up for me because I am tall and she is not. <laughs> No worries here. <laughs> I am learning now that the Grants were given Urquhart Castle in order to like restore peace to the land and they were ordered to repair the castle and instead of repairing the castle, they blew it up! I am pretty sure that Loch Ness is the deepest loch in Scotland, which is why people believe that Nessie lives here because they're like, surely monsters could live at the bottom of this. So this place is amazing and should definitely be on your stop. It's a little bit steep at eight pounds 50, but it's well worth it to get the Explorer Pass if you are really interested in sightseeing, because that will make everything a bit cheaper. Whoa. Infinite messies. <laughs> you had a temper like my jealousy, too hard, too greedy. <gasps> it's so spooky. We have stopped in Fort William now to look for some lunch, and I think we're just gonna go here to the crofter, because it's closest. Oh, I could get some nachos. These are just great. Awesome, gross, awesome, 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 awesome. 
I got nachos because I feel like it, don't judge me. But look at the size of this thing. What the heck? Tell us about Glencoe. So, Glencoe, it was formed by volcanic eruptions over a million years. And these are the three sisters. Can you pronounce their names for us? All right. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Ger Onak. <laughs> <laughs> I am not dumb. Anak, Oyak, Oanak. I have no idea. This is Oanak do. It's so crazy how little justice the camera does. It's like this is incredible. You might have seen my video that I posted in summer. And how different does it look now in autumn? I've never seen it in this season and it's magnificent. We've only just made it home. It is very dark outside and we are so beat, but really pleased with our adventure. We have our um, alcohol in a can, which is the thing here that I'm very pleased to tell you. And we are gonna watch Outlander and talk about all the places that we've been in the show. Have a great night. I hope that you enjoyed this and please enjoy my other videos and subscribe if you would like to do that. I would like it if you did that. I have to go now, I'm so tired, bye. Hey, look Kate. It's a pick tish rock. <laughs> it's really good. It's a really good joke. <laughs>